Good morning guys, it's actually late morning by now, but we've got to go retrieve the tractor from Eric's place. But first, uh, we've got to unload the trailer. Here's our egg laying chickens here. If you notice, the white chickens or the broiler hens have been relocated. These chickens here are gonna have to have a new home very soon, so that should be a project that happens on the channel soon as a chicken coop. Let's let you out first. I'm putting her collar on, buddy. He's running away. A lot of y'all probably remember that we had trouble with Cricket running away. We've got about 54 acres of land here, but there's a highway, and beagles just tend to wander farther and farther and farther, and she finally got into the highway. So I put an underground fence in, so she's got like five acres to go. So that's what that collar is for. If she gets too close, that collar reminds her that she needs to come back in. You're not a dog. Uh-oh. Gonna let that pig food soak while I unload the trailer. That's a lot easier with editing. We were gonna go feed the pigs, but it's raining, which is great. It's been really, really dry here. little corn to distract them. All right, give me some space, give me some space. I know that's everybody's favorite noise. I'm gonna have to take back everything I said that was not positive about this Starbar Captivator flytrap from Tractor Supply. I guess it takes a week or so for this stuff to really activate and get going, but it has been killing flies like mad in the last few days. So yeah, this is a, this is a good option. My son is currently taking a nap and I promised him he could go get the tractor with me. So right now I'm gonna move the sawmill to a friend's house down the road and then we'll plant some tomatoes and by then I think he'll probably be up from his nap. Delivering the sawmill took a little more time than I expected. So we'll do the tomatoes tomorrow. Right now, what are we gonna do? The tractor. Right, we're gonna go get the tractor.
This house is up to here. I've mentioned on the channel before that this tractor, the fuel consumption on it is, is really not that great. Something like a gallon an hour possibly, but the thing is I've never actually done the math on that, but yeah. right, it's a big trailer, isn't it? But I've never actually done the math on that. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the gas station and we're gonna fill it up with off-road diesel fuel. And I wrote down the hours the last time that I filled it up. So we're gonna figure out exactly what kind of mileage this thing is getting. And I hope that I'm wrong about the gallon an hour because I don't think that's very good. What are we doing? Dipping gas. Yeah, is it fun? Not really. What is that a cat? That is a cat. What cat is that? That's a gas station cat. What is it doing? Home. going home oh. all right so I have the results here of the test on the fuel consumption on the Kubota and it's a whole lot better than I expected it to be I had it pegged like I mentioned earlier at about a gallon an hour on this tractor and that was thankfully way way off so here's what I did I wrote a note and I don't know what the date was on this but I wrote a note that I filled up the diesel tank on the tractor at 255.8 hours it has currently got 268 hours on it which is 12.2 hours of use I just filled up the tank you saw at the station and it took 7.44 gallons and as near as I can tell I'm within just a few ounces of where it was the first time there's an inside rim on the fuel tank <clears throat> and that's the part where i filled it up to the first time and i use that as kind of a reference point on where to fill it up to this time and i came not perfect but within a few ounces i don't think that discrepancy really is going to affect anything so 12.2 hours and during that time it was some four-wheel drive use some two-wheel drive use um, i kept the rpms between 1500 and 2000 there was some moving of logs uh, and just kind of random stuff that i did with it just that i think really represents homestead use pretty well so it was just normal use i guess you could say uh, so that comes out to 7.44 gallons 12.2 hours that comes out to point six one gallons per hour of use on the tractor which I don't think is really all that bad quite honestly I was wrong I was wrong about the fuel consumption on this tractor and I'm really thankful that I am I was thinking about a gallon an hour but it's looking like it's actually less than two-thirds of a gallon an hour 0.61 gallons per hour so let's put that into perspective just a little bit so fuel prices right now are not the best and I just paid five dollars and fifty nine cents per gallon for off-road diesel fuel which is pretty rough when you get right down to it but let's just try to put put some perspective on that so if this tractor is using 0.61 gallons of fuel per hour just less than two-thirds of a gallon that comes out to three dollars and 41 cents of operating cost per hour to operate this tractor of course that does not include grease and oil and hydraulic oil and and all of that other kind of random maintenance stuff filters and so on and so forth that just includes the diesel fuel that it's burning so three dollars and 41 cents an hour for a tractor like this with a grapple on it the amount of work that you can get done with this tractor with a grapple on it is absolutely mind-boggling this is not the biggest tractor in the world and there are times when i do wish that i had a little bit more horsepower but the amount of work that you can get done as far as brush clearing and driveway scraping and mowing and what's up man all right driveway scraping and all that kind of random stuff the amount of work that you can get done with this tractor is absolutely incredible so if you put that into perspective 
$3.41 per hour is really not that terrible on fuel consumption on a tractor like this. Do we all wish that fuel prices were lower? Oh yeah, absolutely. They're, they're pretty bad. I mean, let's just be realistic about it. They're pretty bad right now, but the amount of work that you can get done, yeah, thumbs up. That's right. Let them know, man. Can you tell them? Thumbs up. There you go. But the amount of work that you can realistically get done with this thing is worth way more than $3.41. All right, now let's go plant the tomatoes that I've been trying to plant for two days. I like the dog food. Well, this is not dog food. This is garden soil. Our tomatoes this year have really kind of been a constant struggle. This is a better boy plant right here that I planted at the same time I planted that one. And if you can see, that one is doing really, really well. This one, unfortunately, is... Uh, part of me wants to keep it just to see if it revives, but part of me wants to just kind of get rid of it. Um, I can't stand it. I'm just going to leave it and see if it does okay because it's not totally dead. It's still got some green on it. I'll pick off the bad limbs and uh, maybe replace some dirt around it. Maybe it'll come back, I'm not sure. Yes? Are you helping? Mm. All right, never mind. I just dug up the root ball. It's not, it's not doing anything. This one's just... So that was a better boy plant, and we're gonna put a Parks Whopper in its place. I've never actually planted Parks Whoppers before, but as I said, we've had trouble with a lot of our tomatoes this year. We went on vacation and a lot of our, actually all of our aromas died. Our, our um, big boys are not doing well either. And some of them died. So I'm switching to another variety because I've had trouble finding our favorites, which are the better boys. I'm to pick a new one too. How can we pick them? What'd you get? She's my help. A pile of an animal. I'm trying to make an animal. But I am trying to make an animal. Fifty-four acres of dirt, and I'm buying in sacks at Home Depot. Which one? This one. Okay. All right. Now pull it out. Pull it out by the. You can do it by the stem now. No, not that. Not that stem. Do it by the main stem. Yeah, there you go. Good. All right. Come over here with it. All right, so here's what we got to do. Can I have it for a second? Mm -hmm. All right, so pick off those little stems on the bottom. Good. All right, here you go. Okay. Put it in the hole. Okay. Put it in the middle of the hole. Okay. Put it right there. Good. Don't smash it too hard. All right, put some dirt on. Put some dirt around it. Good job. Mm. You do another one? Mm. Oh no. Mm. Hopefully that one will make it. Let's put it over here. Okay, not yet, not yet. We gotta get some of these stems off. These roots are not very good. Okay, that's good. Okay. Can I put it in? Yeah, I think we need to take it out of the pot first. Right here. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let me help you on this one. I don't... I 
I found something. It is tomato. do a quick garden update before I end this video these are our Kentucky wonders and they are actually doing pretty good these I had some concerns over these standers here but they seem to have kind of uh, kind of stiffened up a little bit so I think we won't have any trouble at all with those beans running up those and being supported good enough this is a volunteer Kentucky wonder from last year and it's going up this tomato cage which will be pretty cool I'm inter interested to see what that one does here's a tomato I think that this one is a big boy and it's doing halfway decent we'll just see what happens with it i think this one is also a big boy and it's doing pretty decent i think i've got the blight kind of uh, at least slowed down with the copper based fungicide i'm using here's one of our tomato graveyards this is a super sweet 100 plant right here and it's actually do it not yet man it's not quite ready and it's actually doing really good we picked some off of this yesterday and ate them for supper here's a cucumber plant coming up and some squash more squash here's our peppers that's a jalapeno on the end right there this is a lunchbox red sweet pepper and this is a lunchbox orange and there's a volunteer squash it's actually doing pretty good this is our second planting of corn here and the fertilizer that i put on it a couple of weeks ago has really really brought this one on out it's doing very very good we should get a decent crop off of this second batch here and it's pretty obvious to see the difference in the corn here this is all silver queen corn but this side of the garden i believe it gets more sunlight than this side ever since i fertilized it a week or so a couple of weeks ago i guess it was it has really really taken off that over there has improved but i don't think we're gonna get much of a crop out of it this over here has drastically improved and it's got a good bit of corn on the stalk so we should get a pretty decent crop out of that. See quite a few ears are coming on here. Corn. Here's our row of onions here and I left them there because it was my understanding that they're supposed to grow large bulbs on the end but it could be that they're just spring onions. Here's our only better boy plant here. I mentioned earlier that the other one died. Uh, this one is doing really really well and we just planted some Parks Whopper improved about five of them and down here at the end there are four plants of floridades this is the third planting of corn right here this is silver king corn and i just now put a little bit of fertilizer on it very little it's very small so i don't want to burn it up but it's doing extremely well it's looking very uniform spacing is very nice i just cleaned it out some and that should at least set the weeds back a few days but uh, it's looking good this last planting of corn is looking excellent the only thing that's really left at this point is to go turn the pump on down at the garden and I'm going to be done in the garden for the day. I'm actually really pleased at how the garden is turning out. We got kind of a poor start on it. We had quite a few tomato plants that died at first, but it's um, it seems to be recovering and um, the work that I'm putting in on it seems to be really paying off. I'm excited. We've been eating stuff out of it here and there. I'm really excited to get the first ears of corn out of that silver queen out of it.